Elon Musk is at it again, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, he's a bit of a uh, red pill based uh, number. And we're going to talk about him, what he's been up to. He told advertisers to go F themselves recently at a uh, kind of globalist meeting. So we're going to talk about that tonight on the report for Tiger Mountain. Elon Musk told people to go fuck themselves, ladies and gentlemen. He told advertisers to go fuck themselves if they want to blackmail him uh, into, you know, basically supporting their politics. So, you know, again, what is this about? I think we did do a report or two on, on this. Um, you know, I, I mean, the war of the shekels is over. Bob uh, Iger settled. And, um, you know, so that basically everyone in Hollywood, you know, can go back to uh, work and that he's got to pay them a few more shekels than they previously were able to get. So there you go. They've had a little bit of a win. And um, but Bob Iger has been attacking Elon Musk. What's been happening is, is the ADL, uh, which is the uh, Jewish Anti-Defamation League, has been um, putting pressure on people who advertise on Twitter to remove their advertising um, because um, recently, um, you know, Elon Musk has been going, you know, kind of alt-right, new right, dissident right, you know, supporting Trump, you know, being anti-climate change talk, being, um, you know, uh, he's been actually, you know, talking about Pizzagate recently. He did a tweet recently where he, he was interested in the Pizzagate thing, which of course is true. I mean, if you look, I mean, you know, they all say Pizzagate is complete nonsense, but if you just look into John Podesta and James Elephantis and their previous, what's it called, uh, uh, Instagram pages and uh, all the emails that were shared, it's so obvious something weird was going on and there was absolutely no investigation of that whatsoever. This, because I think that scandal was way bigger than the Jeffrey Epstein thing and involved people from the Democrats and the Republicans, probably Mitch McConnell and after the Republican Party. So, you know, they swept that under the carpet quicker than you could say, um, you know, Jeffrey Epstein's Island or Gisele Maxwell, ladies and gentlemen. So anyway, you know, um, this is what I think is going on. Elon Musk, clearly, I'm sure you'll know this ever since he took over the platform, has been interested in freedom of speech. And the ADL have been trying to shut that down because I think, um, you know, if uh, there is no censorship on Twitter, you know, there is going to be a global kind of, um, you know, people are going to just share a lot of stuff about Jewish influence and it's going to, you know, badly affect them. Uh, and obviously that has actually been happening on Twitter as well. So, um, and actually what's funny is, is Elon Musk has sort of been participating in it. Elon Musk did recently to Israel. I mean, people call that the apology tour. And so when he got back from the this apology tour, uh, recently he went on some, you know, globalist chat show, you know, think tank conference. And they said, oh, you know, how was your apology tour? And, you know, I mean, you know, don't you feel, you know, bad, these advertisers, you know, um, you know, uh, or whatever. And he just said, listen, the advertisers who want to try and blackmail me can go get fucked. And that's exactly right. You know what I mean? And the thing is, he's the world's richest man. And, you know, what's clever about Elon Musk, too, is this, is that, and he said this to the guy who was a Jewish host of the show. He said, listen, you know, blocking this advertising could well destroy Twitter, you know, and it will happen in real time and we'll document every bit of it. And he said, let's let the world decide. So in other words, Twitter is the most popular social media platform. Maybe Facebook, I mean, Facebook and Twitter are probably almost equal standing. But basically, we could be witnessing the destruction of Twitter and the whole way as it's being torn apart by the ADL and Jewish um, pressure groups, Elon Musk is just going to document it. So in a way, it's a cunning move from Elon Musk because he's going to draw them out. He's going to say, you want to destroy it? Go ahead. The whole world's going to see it. And of course, that may be um, revealing their power too much. And you can see the guy, the Jewish host, kind of going, just give me a second. And, and, and he also, when he said, you know, I don't, I don't care about money. I mean, you know, I will not be blackmailed. The guy, you know, it was like a, he had to sort of stop and let that process, you know. You just sit, Elon Musk, just wait a minute. So you're not completely motivated by, you know, unending greed. And Elon Musk was like, no, I'm not, I'm not. So that, that took a while for the guy to process, you know. So, you know, there are some people that can't be bought. Donald Trump is one of them, you know. I mean, Elon Musk is another. Um, you know, maybe Taylor Swift is another with her, her fight she's got going on with George Soros. Maybe, uh, you know, Andrew Tate is another. There's resistance, ladies and gentlemen. And I think what's going on with Elon Musk is fantastic. And he's going to drag it all into the light. And he said very... Um, with a certain sense of ominousness, will let the planet decide. Because he knows that, you know, if, if Twitter is going to be, Twitter or X, as he calls it, is going to be torn to pieces, 
he's going to be able to display the destruction for the whole world. And he's already revealed, um, you know, the Twitter files, uh, which showed that Twitter was essentially a sock puppet for, um, you know, the globalist deep state. And obviously it's no longer that under, um, you know, under Elon Musk. So fascinating what's going on. Keep an eye on the debate between Elon Musk, the ADL, and, you know, the forces of censorship and manipulation and control. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's the report from Tiger Mountain for this week on Elon Musk.